Hello, everybody, and welcome to Season 2 of the HIP Senior Podcast. This season, we have some exciting guests for you, including social media influencers over the age of 50 that are out there being HIP and creating exciting content on platforms such as TikTok and Instagram. Our first guest this season today is Janice Miller from TikTok. Janice lives in Georgia and has over 55,000 followers. Here's one of my favorite videos of hers. Remember when you ran away and I got on my knees and begged you not to leave because I go berserk? Well, you left me anyhow and then the days got worse and worse and now you see I've gone completely out of my mind. Son, they're coming to take me away, ha ha, they're coming to take me away, ho ho, hee hee, ha ha, to the funny part where life is beautiful all the time and I'll be happy to see those nice young men. <laughs> Janice, welcome to the podcast. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Now, who's that crazy guy in the background? That is my husband, Larry. Larry's awesome. I love him to death. So you're you're a TikTok fan, but you tell me you're not, but you really are. <laughs> I, I think in the lady, the world of old ladies, I'm 67. So I, I'm I'm liking where I am. So how long have you been on, on TikTok? About two years, about, you said? About two years. Yeah. Okay. Right before, the, right before the pandemic hit. Okay. And how did you get on TikTok? What, what, what triggered that? Like what, what said, you know, when, obviously one day you did not know about t- TikTok. How did you learn about TikTok? I am not sure how I found out about it. I do know that I, I work in a school. So we, we were on Christmas break. And somehow I landed on it. And um, so I started by doing some um, TikToks with my sister and my brother happened to come along and we started doing it and um, I got hooked. I got hooked pretty fast. Now, I know like one of your videos you said had 600 and some thousand thousand views 600 some thousand views that is crazy now there's people out there they get millions and stuff like that but for someone who's only been doing this for two years and has 55,000 plus followers that is that's a huge number it, what did you think it, when that it happened really, it, I try to post at least once a week I try to include Larry because they do love Larry. And um, it just, it is, it has really become a, a family thing, kind of. I mean, I don't, I don't have famous people on mine. I, I don't think I have anybody with the blue check. I, I occasionally I will scroll through and, and try to see, but I don't, I think I just have regular people, um, uh, a nice mix of men and women not very many kids, but some kids. And, um, you know, people message me, they'll send cards. When Larry's been in the hospital, they've sent cards. So it's really become people that I'm familiar with that we check up on each other. So it's, it's gotten beyond the form of just entertainment and fun. Right. Yeah. Cause some of your, some of your, uh, of your videos are funny. Um, I think the first one I saw, and I will try to include this later on in the video, was uh, the Halloween one with the um, Pamela. It was for, yeah, 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 pumpkin. Yeah, I think that was probably the first one I saw of yours, and I think I've probably gone back and looked at all of them. Yeah. Um, so you probably see like my name popping up with hearts all on there, and so um, yeah, it's it's. I'm just amazed because I am so all about seniors doing things and staying relevant and being able to connect with the, the children and the teenagers in their lives. And when people say, Oh, TikTok's just for teenagers. It's really not. There's a lot of seniors out there that are creating content and it's keeping them relevant. It's keeping them connected with their family members. It's keeping their brains active and engaged and doing things, which is what, you know, me focusing with the hip senior and online tech lessons is all about is making sure that people know how to do things out there and stay relevant. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's definitely. Not- it, it's, um, I know the, the kids that I work with at school, um, and I, I, I think I have a couple of videos that I've done over the years that they'll say, could, could you do one with me and make me TikTok famous? I said, well, if you come up with an idea, I said, I don't know, you know, unless I think of something, cause it takes me a while to come up with it, with, with an inspiration. But, um, you know, I know at, at my school, TikTok is still very big, very big. Yeah, absolutely. I've noticed recently that you've started, um, posting, uh, some product videos and stuff. And I know a lot of people make a lot of money on TikTok by posting ads for various companies that they ask for sponsorships like that and stuff. Have any companies started reaching out to you for sponsorship type opportunities? Um, the, the one I'm working with now, I do not get paid. I do get some free products. So, and um, they had seen, uh, seen my videos and asked if I'd be willing to try their products. So they sent me you know, maybe a hundred, hundred, couple hundred dollars worth of stuff. I loved it. And so um, sometimes they'll email me and say, hey, could you do this kind of a video? Or sometimes like I posted one, I think yesterday or day before where I came up with it myself. And then I I mean, as an influencer, those people that give uh, advice to other influencers would say I was not doing a good thing wasn't helping myself, but I don't need another job. And I do this for fun. And if I get some product of things that I like, then that's great. And otherwise I, I don't want to do it. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to promote something I don't like, but over the the two years I've been asked a couple of times to do things and it just, it didn't pan out. One was for a mask company after they saw that mask video and, um, that just didn't, the communication was lacking. I actually have somebody that like supervises me. And so I'm happy. I'm happy. Send me, send me a jar of cream every so often. I'm good. You know, I'm good. So I, and I've thought about, you know, doing the whole Amazon thing. That's not hard to get into, but then, then it really becomes a a job that you have to do. And with Larry's health being what it is, I have to be pretty flexible um, and just don't want to commit to having to produce. So speaking about committing, how long does it take for you to prepare for when you create a video? It depends on if it's not going well and if I'm determined to do it. I I mean, probably less than 15 minutes. It's, it's, you know, I, I first, I know how much I can remember at one time, which is limiting. And um, so And it depends also if I'm including Larry and, you know, what I need him for him to do, but it's really not a lot of time. I have done things where, where I did it over and it it was an hour or so. And nine times, if it takes that long, it usually doesn't turn out, but um, I'm, I'm quickie, quickie. People are not going to watch anything really long anyway. So I just try to keep it funny and simple or if I'm giving information or sharing something in my life, you know, then I, I, it, that may be longer, but I don't put, I mean, I put some time in it, but I'm not, I'm not trying to, I, I'm not trying to make it a big deal. Right. What does Larry think about TikTok? Does, does he, does he do it to humor you? Does he really like it? He, re- he really does like it. And, um, he will have me read comments. So I make an effort if I post something that I do check back on it on the recent ones. And I do try to like their comments um, or respond occasionally. And I will read comments to Larry. Like he said, I posted one that the picture was 10 years ago and then a current picture. And he said, see the comments. I want to hear the comments. So he, he does love it. He does love it. Do, um, do you have any haters? I, you know what? I have had very, very few. Um, I'm always shocked when somebody says something negative. It's just like, cause I, I make a point of not cursing, not having anything inappropriate because I do have kids that watch me Right. and, and you know, that's just not what I'm doing, but like, um, I posted something, I think it was last, well, he was in the hospital last week and I posted an update and somebody wrote back, 
shame on you. You're trying, you're using your husband. I'm thinking, I'm using him for what? Like, what am I getting? Um, and so I, I reposted, I did a response to it and just said, yeah, you're right. I said, I'm just, I'm trying to get prayers for him. So you're right. I'm using him, you know, kind of thing. I've had maybe a couple where somebody called me a bad word and, you know, back then I re I, I responded and just said, you know, bless your heart. You know, I tried to do the whole, I'm a Southern you. bless your I'm, heart. <laughs> I'm, a bl I'm just going to shame you doing that. And then I block them after a while, but I really ha very, very seldom have anybody, I, but I have become more careful. I try not to do anything uh, political or anything that's going to cause a, a big deal. I mean, I do have opinions. I try to keep them to myself for the most part, because then that, that takes the fun out of it. You know, I don't want it open to cray cray, you know? So yeah. well, I just like people that, it, that they know that they can watch me. They're going to laugh. They may cry. You know, they may just wonder how we're doing and that they don't have to worry about getting drugged down into, you know, making them feel bad or making me feel bad. The TikTok family has been just unbelievably supportive to us and loving to us. And when he, um, he had a brain bleed in, in the springtime and we went to rehab, I, people wanted to send him things. And so I gave them the, the uh, address of the rehab facility. One lady sent him flowers from California. Somebody sent him a teddy bear, lots of cards. I mean, where does that happen? You know, that's right. That's really family stuff. It is. And, and I, and I, I wouldn't want to give that up. Now I, I haven't gone and gotten a PO box. You will not see my cash app thing. I no. I'm, I'm just, I'm not going to do it that I don't do it for that. You know, I, 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 I do have a creator account. I do earn a few cents on every video. And I mean, I may have pulled out over the year, a hundred bucks. It, it's just, it's not about that for me. Right. And, um, and I don't want to turn it into that because I, I want to want to do it. Right. And as, as Larry's, you know, I, if, when Larry doesn't want to do something, he doesn't do it. And he doesn't always want to do something when I want to do it. So, um, you know, as long as we both want to do it and we're enjoying it, then we're, we're game. Yeah. He's, um, he seems like he really, he really enjoys it. And you said everybody loves, loves Larry, but you know what? We all love you too. It's, we can just see your enthusiasm bubbling out of you um, about doing it and uh, being happy and, and joyful about doing it. And um, I'm so glad to have found you um, because I really do enjoy when, when one pops up I'm like, Oh, Janice, you know, and I'm so happy that, that you agreed to be on the podcast because um, you know, in the, in the past year, so this is our, our second season of, of the Hip Senior Podcast. And so last year we focused on like people that are taking care of seniors and, and the businesses and all that is important. Uh, but I want seniors this year to say, hey, you know what? Look, Janice is doing this. I can do that. That would be really fun to do. And, you know, hopefully the people that get on here aren't just like, oh, I've got to get on there and make a million dollars like everybody else. I hope they get on here for the fun and enjoyment of it. And like you said, the family of it, because there are a lot of really awesome people um, on Definitely. TikTok Definitely. that do take care of each other. Yeah. And you know, if you, if you pay attention and you like the videos that you like and you ignore or press the little not interested, TikTok will learn what you like and you mm -hmm. will more of what you like. And that's where I found, um, I think that's how I, I uh, started to really enjoy TikTok is when TikTok got, got a whiff of what I was all about and what I enjoyed seeing. So um, I think that's, that's important for new people to TikTok to kind of get it, you know, be on there enough and like and put your not interested so that TikTok will bring things to you. You don't have to work so hard. At it. <laughs> yeah. Mine is dogs, cats, and seniors. That's what TikTok shows me. <laughs> Do you follow Bunny the dog? The yes. Dog 
Do you know that there's a cat on there that uses the little button? I saw that. There, oh there's several God. now. And Bunny has, Bunny has a brother now. Yes. <laughs> I forget his name. But yeah, I started watching Bunny, like, I don't know, when they first started putting them up there when, when the buttons were still pretty new and stuff. Um, that's amazing. <laughs> it is amazing. And then I saw a video the other day that I had to share with somebody that um, I have a golden retriever named Othello. And I keep trying to teach him to pick up his toys and put them back in his basket to clean up after himself. And it just hasn't been working very well. But then the other day I saw a dog, they had this dog pick up all of its toys, put it in the basket, and then it was time for dinner. And I was like, this can be done. See? So I've made my dog watch that video like five times, you know, like, look, this can be done. You can do this. So yeah, yeah. dogs, cats, and, and seniors are where, are where what face, uh, TikTok brings to me. That'll be a great video once you get them trained. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My, uh, my daughter called me the other day and she says, you put my cats on TikTok. And I'm like, do you want me to take them down? She goes, no, I think it's hilarious. <laughs> it's back when she was living with me with her cats. And I was just like, I, so yeah, my, my TikTok and your TikTok are on totally different planes. I think it's just amazing that, um, that you've learned to do all of this and I'm looking forward to, um, to getting with you and, and learning some more about that. So speaking of that, uh, a senior wants to learn how to do TikTok. What's their first step? Well, sign up for an account. Right. And I would say if, if, if they are interested in posting something, the easiest thing to start with is a duet. To find somebody you like, um, to either lip sync along with or just look at. It could be one you like or one you think is crazy, just a response. That's the easiest way to, to, to start. And early on, I did a lot of those. I found um, people that I liked that, that I could lip sync with or just respond to. And um, that's not as scary that you've got to try to think something up. Okay. Okay. And there's so many different, there's so many different songs and different um, acts and all just everything you could possibly imagine is on TikTok. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, again, I am so happy that, um, that you do what you do. Please tell Larry and send him our, our love. And um, again, everybody, if, um, if you want some good quality videos to watch, uh, Mrs. Janice M on TikTok, go find her, follow her, like all of her videos, because she's awesome. And um, we'll look forward to seeing more uh, videos out there. I appreciate it. We'll keep cranking them out. Janice, thanks very much for ringing with us. Have a happy 2022. Thank you. You too.